Hello and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be doing a Get Ready With Me featuring the one and only Remy. Um, I am currently in Colorado, Boulder specifically, and today we're going to Denver and I thought it would be fun to film something. Yeah. So let's do it. Party. No. If you wanna rock and roll, keep oh, on watching. Yeah. yeah. Keep on watching. I'm using that. I'm using that. <laughs> it's touch is so campus. What is it? The primer? Yeah. <gasps> it's so cool. Wait, I don't want it. Yeah. Do I? Yeah, put, just wipe it off. Okay. Let's, let's Why <laughs> can you not do this? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Let's um <laughs> you just rub it in your hands. Okay, so what are we doing? Your makeup. That's what you're no, doing. No, but what is this stuff? Oh, that's a primer. Oh god. No, I mean like. So you can be like, oh, okay, so right now we're doing primer. I don't. You don't need to talk through it. Oh, Get ready for me. So what do you do? You just do your makeup. <laughs> <laughs> you would be the worst YouTuber <laughs> ever. Doesn't your face feel silky? It is a little silky. I feel like I don't have to put a moisturizer. It's, it can be used as a moisturizer or as a primer. I usually use, use Ulta face primer. Okay. Which I like. That's good. But I've never used something so tacky. I know. Everything's gonna stick. This is weird doing my makeup on the floor. Also, my face looks really white, but my body is like decently tan. I know, I look more tan than you. And I paid for mine. Not in your face, though. Yeah, huh? They sprayed my face one oh, time. Oh, really? Yeah, but I wash my face too many times, I think. I didn't know they do your face, too. Yeah, if you want them to. I also think it's a little bit of the natural lighting. Yeah. For face. Do you want to, oh, I was going to say, do you want to use this? What? This oh, palette? that, yeah. Because I have this one. Yeah. The options are endless. How crazy would that be if somebody broke into your apartment while we were filming? <laughs> what? <laughs> that would be the funny. That would not be funny. But if it was gonna happen, at least it's in my YouTube video. Maybe I can go viral for it. <laughs> Girls, film makeup video as intruder breaks in. You'll never believe what happened during this. Get ready. This get ready with me or something. And then like the um, thumbnail is us like. Breaking out. God, we have to hire someone to break into your apartment now. I mean, there's a bunch of people who live here that I'm sure would be willing to do it. <laughs> we can ask the guy that's sunbathing outside <laughs> next to the altar. Yeah, next to the crystal altar. For those of you who don't know, Remy goes to a very hippie school. It's called Naropa University, and it's Buddhist inspired. Yes. So. So. There are a lot of people here who do things that you're just like. Like I saw a guy just bathing with the sun next to a stone altar and it was, it was amazing. I mean, it's really not, cool. It like, is, it is very cool. I'm not, not knocking it. I'm just saying, I think it's funny because like in Lancaster PA, a you don't culture. see that. Yeah. Such a different vibe. Also, everybody's very in tune with themselves in here, which is here, which is very cool. Because they are in PA, nobody. They think a lot about knows. power and privilege and um, social dynamics and stuff like that, and like how you balance your power and that kind of stuff. So it's really cool. Yeah, because in PA, nobody. Some people. I don't want to say nobody, but most people don't do that. I mean, in Lancaster, like in the city, there might be a few people. Like yeah. in the art community? Oh, yeah, 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 in, in the art community, but I think, like, your everyday Lancaster person, I'm not sure, like, super woke, like, doesn't and really, I feel like, like think about that people stuff. who say they're woke are probably not. <laughs> if you announce that you're woke, you're not woke. So, in, like meditation practices and Buddhist practices it's like we talk a lot about enlightenment 
and a lot of people here it's kind of the same thing like they'll be like no i'm enlightened and you're like are you are you <laughs> are, you? are you enlightened because it's like there's you know there like you apparently like you know when you're enlightened but it's like it's like only certain people can actually achieve that in their lifetime oh yeah yeah i know what you mean i know what you're talking about because i actually read a book on buddhism so i know yeah. what you're talking about oh i've read many a book on buddhism i believe you have <laughs> so really my textbooks for class are on <laughs> buddhism but it's a really cool school it's really like um unique and it's a really great community and it's tiny like there's 300 people that came in my class but there's definitely not still 300 people um, yeah. in my class because a lot of people like a lot of people who are older will come to school to like go back and get um, an undergraduate degree or like I took a gap year before coming here so um, there's a lot of people who are like coming in at different ages and different like different parts of their life and it's really funny because everybody like has a Naropa story, like how you ended up at Naropa. Yeah, it's, it's really cool. It was really, <laughs> it's really funny, like talking to everybody. How like everybody in freaking Colorado is just so nice. Like I literally apologized to a guy yesterday at a so coffee shop cute. because I was like, oh, I'm sorry, because I was wondering if it was Remy's coffee that I was trying to pick up, and he's like, don't be sorry you can be whatever you want to be and I was like he said what did he say you, you don't have to be sorry but you can be whatever you want to yeah, be it's like thank you like, that's so cute thank you for that people are really friendly and like um we're we went on a hike yesterday up um the flat irons and that's like the main uh, mountain in boulder so if you look up the flat irons you'll be like oh my gosh Delaney hiked that I did I um did it. But it was really, really fun. And, like, you know, when you pass people hiking, they're like, hi, hey, how's it going? Or, like, enjoy your hike. Or, I don't know, they're just super yeah. cute. Yeah, everybody's, and, like, like, just very nice. Yeah. I'm just very much from the east side of the country. Because people don't do that. In Lancaster. Yeah. You, you like, pick up the wrong coffee. They'll be like, um, excuse me. You're like, oh, I'm sorry should be <laughs> yeah you should be damn it i'm sorry no but it's like people here are just genuinely nicer and they say it's because colorado has 365 no not 365 i think it's like 300 days of sunshine a year oh and it's like the weather has a big impact on people's moods yeah so everybody's always happy everybody's always happy also humidity isn't really a thing here because it's so dry so in the summers Pennsylvania it's really humid and then people are miserable oh yeah and then here summers just people like hiking and walking and running and doing yoga and like oh it's so cute yeah I have a lot of yoga people I definitely recommend visiting Colorado at least once in your life yeah everybody is hella nice I think the only person that I saw in Colorado that was mean was that woman who almost ran over those people when I was like, Remy, let's just walk. And you're well, like, no, Delaney, we have to wait. But the thing is, is that some people, like, so Colorado does have a lot of, like, out-of-town people. And I'm not saying, like, if you're I've been here forever, and if you're out of town, you're terrible. But um, there's a lot, so it's, like, a bunch of mixed drivers. So that people in Colorado, usually, like, if there's somebody merging onto the highway, you can... Um, just merge just you'll like get into the left lane so that way they can merge on and it's like every other car and it's super rad and then um so now that we have all these other people here like california Trap, yeah new jersey it's just terrible because everybody's used to driving how their city drives yeah so nobody lets people over yeah like, yeah so yeah. fpa drivers are literally the worst oh my god my foot's falling asleep mm. So what are we doing to it, Um, art museum. Mm -hmm. We're going to um, Denver Museum of Contemporary Art. Yes. Very stoked about that. Sage. Oh, go to an art museum with an artiste. <laughs> 
I almost tried to blend with the bottom of my brush. So that's funny. And it's really cool because this exhibit is one artist like took over the entire museum, and it's a smallish museum, but there's like huge installations. So I'm really yeah. excited to see them. You haven't been yet, not to see this exhibit. Are we gonna visit your grandma? Oh, maybe. Get to be back for your party. Yeah. So I work at the dorms at my school, and I'm hosting a grill out for them. I'm grill out, chill out. Some nice. This is some nice. Uh, no, it's cool because I get to use like we have a budget that the RAs can tap into to put on programs and stuff. So I spent like two hundred some dollars at the grocery store buying snacks. And That's always fun. Like, yeah, it's, it's just, always a fun time. The hell are they doing upstairs? Did they get an elephant? I probably. The dudes that live above me are music majors. That explains so much. Yeah. <laughs> that explains so much. There, there's something else. And so this is really funny. The one time I heard like all their furniture moving, like in every direction they like move their furniture. I was like, what the heck is happening? So I went outside to see if they would like have their door open or whatever, and they did. And I called up to them, I'm like, what are you guys doing? And they're like, we're hosting a group meditation. Uh -huh. And I'm like, that's so cute. Can you pick up your furniture when you move it next time? <laughs> <laughs> they're like, oh yeah, that's so funny. That's funny though. That is funny. A group meditation. I don't think I've ever meditated. Really? Yeah. It's actually so grounding. Like it's really, it's so grounding. It's so grounding. Let me tell you about the perks of meditation. No, um, it is really nice though, and it's kind of like people don't do it because they don't think they know how. But it's like, it's, there, I mean, there's a proper posture and everything. But if you just kind of like sit for five minutes, um, and just kind of like clear your mind and try not to think about anything, and then if you realize you're thinking about like stuff. You just like acknowledge that and realize that you're aware that you're thinking and then like try to just settle back into like nothingness. Wow. Yeah, that's cool. That is. Or you can like say a mantra. So you can say like, um, like if you want to put energy out into the world or something. <laughs> I know sometimes it sounds kind of silly, but it's, like, <laughs> if you're, you know, you're really nervous, it's similar to like, um, like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but it's like if you want uh, something to happen, like you've got a huge job interview and you're really stressed about it. Yeah. You can like sit and be like meditating about it and think, um, think about like a phrase, like I'm going to do great at this job interview. And you just say that over and over in your head. It's so, like, I'm going to do great at this job interview. I'm yeah. Do and so that way your mind is just kind of like thinking about it thinking and putting, about it, into it, the, putting uh, it into the universe yeah i got that i get that that's you me know. that was what i was trying to do when i picked out this nail color yeah you know and like i was trying like, to get some good red. energy back yeah um, i was like if i get the nail shade called lucky red i'm gonna have luck i mean the next day i had the worst day ever but you never know now I mean, all the bad lucky energy today this week yeah the bad I mean, energy has been friday and stuff the bad energy has been removed in that one day. If it's a little too yellow, let me know. I have one that's a little lighter. Light sand. I'm fair light honey in tart. Is it what? Fair light honey. Oh. In tart. If that's, a, if that's a little too dark, like I said, I have... Well, this one actually... Wait. No, I think that'll be fine. I have this one. I just need it for a couple spots. Okay. It's going be okay. The lighting is bright. The lighting's fabulous. Well, maybe it's just because I'm so white. I think that the lighting is like... That might have something to do with it. Highlighter. Should wear this highlighter. Okay. Artist contour. It's artist couture. Oh, I thought it said you contour. Uncultured swine. Oh, I'm joking. I'm joking. Didn't you ever hear that? Yeah. Um, that's gonna say, don't you on the internet? You're really an uncultured swine guy like me. <laughs> I feel like. <laughs>
not really it's a joke well let me tell you Delaney I gave you the rundown on composting because I didn't even know what it was I don't honestly I feel like most people don't know what composting is. that's the or they so know wrong or most they know people, what it is but they don't do it leave a comment down below do you know what compost do you know how to compost or well, do you compost here's the thing here's okay. the thing Boulder Colorado does commercial composting so if you have a compost bin you can put it in like the commercial compost bins and they'll come collect it so that's like that's really flipping great <laughs> the, it's very um, it's very fun i composted yesterday yeah in public yeah so and yeah like when we have um like on on the street malls and like in the town they have like compost bins so if you have like an apple core or whatever so here's what i'm going to do after this video go watch a video on composting Educate yourselves on compost. <laughs> compost. If you don't live in a place that has commercial composting, you can keep a compost bin. If you have a garden or soil, like any sort of backyard environment where you grow things, or front yard environment where you grow things, uh -huh. um, and you can compost like that, and your earth will love like your coffee grounds and your eggshells and your stuff like that. And your strawberries. And strawberries. And your paper towels are compostable. Pizza Everything. boxes are compostable. Yeah, see, I didn't know that. If pizza boxes have grease on them, you can't recycle them. So that's another fun See, fact. I, but we, mm, my parents recycle greasy. Yeah, pizza you boxes. shouldn't because it can mess up the, mess up the system. See, nobody, nobody informs you on this stuff. It's because you have to do the research. Well, that's too shy. Too shy. Do you have a highlight brush or do you want to? I don't have a highlighter brush because I don't okay. really use highlighters. So I have this highlighter um, liquid that I've used okay. before. But Liquid's fine. You just want to be careful if you put it on after foundation. Yeah. So look. Remy, you see that? Yeah, it's nice. What? <laughs> you have to put some on your nose. Okay. Because then your nose is going to be shiny. Shiny in a good way. And on the bridge. It's a nice brush. It's fun. You know, it's my favorite brush for highlighting. Look at you. You know you feel like a whole new woman. I do. It's true. I don't know what lip color to wear. I know. I was thinking red, but at the same time wearing pink shoes. I think I'm going to go with a nude. Yeah, I think I might go with the same one I wore last, last night. Let's see. Keep don't it very natural. Kind of like... Bop, bop. Oh, I forgot I had this little thing. Look how cute. Oh, that is cute. The colors. It's, um... Mary Kay eyeshadow thing. Thank you. There's like four colors. I forgot I had that. And that's a pretty color. You can't really see it, but it's, <laughs> it's pretty. <laughs> You're funny. This one's pretty too. No, I know what you mean. They're pretty! They are. They're pretty. Oh, I have this other one too. Look. I've used that one. Yeah, up. you've destroyed that. Right. That's bright. Ugh. It's just bright. Oh, yes. Alright, I have to sneeze really bad. Look how boring that sounds. It's pretty. It's pretty. <coughs> this is how big it used to be. Wow. <coughs> wow. 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 Okay. I'm ready. What color are you doing? I'm doing, what's it, Ophelia? Kat Von D. Oh, Ophelia. Actually, I think that's too big, so I'm going to do that. Okay. Boom. Done. Done? Done. 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 We just need to spray ourselves. With what? Setting spray. Wait! No! Your eyes! No! Don't swim like that! Yeah, now you're sad, bitch. <laughs> you Gucci. That's confusing. It's spray. It's oh my confusing. gosh. <laughs> <laughs> and then
And that is it for this lovely Get Ready With Us. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video with Remy and obviously myself, but more so Remy. Uh, and um, I think that's about it. So if you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye, everyone. Bye.